Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, this is No Coast Angling, and that sounds like it's a fishing channel, and it is, but we do a lot of different things, especially when we're unable to fish. So there's still ice on the water, but it's not safe ice. Basically the ice just keeps us off the water from fishing, but soon enough, within about a month or so, we're gonna be back on the water, and until then, we're just gonna do some cool stuff and have fun with some uh, different videos. So, I'm glad you're here today. Today, I'm gonna share with you guys something cool that I just got. You know, at the end of the day, I'm really just a big kid. That's why I like to fish. I love to go fishing and have fun with my friends and my dad. And I like to do fun things. I like to go on roller coasters. I like to drive fast. I like to do things that kids like to do. And so one of the things that kids like to do is ride bikes. And I like to ride bikes, but I don't like to work really hard at riding a bike. Do you know what I'm saying? So I bought a Rad Runner powered bike. And I'm gonna show it to you right now. It's made by Rad Power Bikes, and this thing is awesome. It is so much fun. Like, it takes riding your bike to the next level. If you like to go out and ride trails and do all of that stuff, but you just don't want to exert all the energy that's necessary to do it, this bike right here is the way to go. So I want to show you some of the cool features that it has. Um, so let's just jump right into it. So when you initially look at this bike, I would say probably the one thing that you notice right off the bat is the frame looks a little unusual. This is actually a utility bike. This is built to be able to carry a lot of weight. There's a rack that can go on the front here. There's a center console that can be put in here. There's additional racks that can go on the back. They do like saddle bags. There's all kinds of stuff that can be carried on this bike. And that's one of the reasons that the, the frame is built the way it is. The other thing that I tend to notice right away are these massive tires. Look at those things. These things are thick. These tires are made to be able to go through anything, whether you're in sand, off road, in the grass, dirty trails, whatever, these will get the job done. And then the fenders, I actually bought these. This was an add-on that you can add on. The front fender and the rear fender. I paid a little bit extra money for it, but when the ground is wet, or if I'm driving through the dirt or whatever, this will keep me clean and dry and keep stuff from flying up and hitting me. It also comes fully equipped with a headlight and a tail light with a brake light. So if you're riding in traffic, people know when you're stopping. Since we're talking about stopping, just as equally as important as it is going, stopping <laughs> is a must. We've got disc brakes on the front and on the back of this bike. So being able to stop, when you're going 20 miles an hour and being able to stop very quickly, it's no problem with these disc brakes. This right here is your command center. We're going to power up the bike right here. And what we've got is we've got four different levels of pedal assist. So when you're pedaling the bike and you're in number one, the motor is going to give you a little bit of assistance to help you pedal. Two is a little bit more, three is a little bit more, and even four. When you're at four, the bike is giving you a ton of power so it makes pedaling effortless. 
The other cool feature on this is right here. This is full throttle. So if you don't want to pedal at all, you can turn this and it will send full power to the rear wheel. So you don't even have to pedal. Over here on this side, this shows the readout of how much battery is left. So when you're cruising around, you know how, how much battery you have. So, you know, obviously if you get down into this last bar, you don't want to be too far from home because you might be pedaling the thing all the way back. Of course, you got to have your bell too. Another really cool feature with the Rad Runner um, is this feature right here with the battery. This is your battery pack right here. You can utilize the key that powers the battery on and off to lock and unlock the battery. So when you unlock it, you can actually take this battery and pop it out and take it inside to charge it. Or like when it's really cold, leave it inside your house um, so it doesn't get damaged by the cold weather or extreme heat for that matter. Really cool feature. Guys, this is a pretty sweet little addition that I added. This is a crate. Boom, and you're in business. I can put whatever I want in here. A loaf of bread, a six pack of soda, whatever I need to carry with me, I can throw it in this little crate. I bought this at Sam's Club for 10 bucks, and when I'm not using it, I can just pop these babies up. Boom, back down, out of my way. Pretty slick. Well guys, this is it. This is the Rad Runner by Rad Power Bikes. It's an amazing bike. I love it. Um, I'm sure many people are like, wow, what a waste of money. Why did you even buy that? You have a pickup. You can get around town just fine. But like I said before, I'm really just a big kid and I like to have fun. I like cool stuff and neat technology and I just want to have fun. But I will say this. I, I used to ride Harleys and I know this isn't a Harley, but when you're riding a bike, you become part of the road more so than when you're in a vehicle like a truck or a car when you're out in the open air you become part of the road you can smell the smells you see things differently and riding this around town just for a few days i'm finding cool architecture and things in town that i've never noticed before because i'm usually i got the windows up the radio on or i'm on the phone and i'm just going from point a to point b as fast as i can this bike has allowed me to slow down and enjoy the community I live in. And so for that reason alone, I'm loving every minute of it. And so to some people, this might be a foolish purchase or just, you know, a waste. But for me, I'm finding that it brings me joy and it, it's something that I love to do already. So um, the only thing that's really left to do at this point it's just to go and ride it. So let's do that.
Making a video. I seen it on your uh, on your story, right? Yeah. You want to take it for a spin? I'm gonna go head to the college for a little bit. Bring some documentary. Bang. Documenting of a moment in history. We're documenting a moment in history. Documentaring. We're doctoring a moment We're documenter. <laughs> wow, actually look at that. Full of lies. Look at so. that little scamp. <laughs> Boom. Look at that little scamp. Sheesh. Could be kind of sketchy. Oh, the life of videoing. 